This one is going to be short and sweet, literally. <laughs> And this one is going to be short and sweet, literally sweet. I'm going to show y'all how I make my sweet tea starter. It's a thing. And until I started putting it out on the interweb some here and there, I didn't realize that it was kind of a new thing for a lot of people. It's just something I started doing several years ago because we go through tremendous amounts of sweet tea around here, especially now that the weather's warming up. It's nothing for our family to go through a gallon a day, especially in the summer. I'm serious. So yeah, I found a way to keep a stock of tea available without having to boil tea bags every single day. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. Okay, the stars of this show, a big pot of water. You could easily double this. This is gonna do basically two gallons at a time. And sometimes I will do two batches in a day. So I'll have four gallons. You could have six gallons stocked up in the, in the refrigerator, whatever you want. I don't know how big that is, three or four quart, whatever. It is going on the stove and it is going to boil. Okay, then you're gonna wanna have quart jars. That's what I use. Uh, I'm actually out of tea, completely out of tea right now. So half of it's gonna go in here. <laughs> and then I just use family size tea bags, the big tea bags. I'm not a tea snob. So these are Louisiana, but I will typically buy the store brand, whatever. I used to always buy decaffeinated. I started buying caffeinated because it's cheaper and I don't think it's that big a deal, but whatever. Just so you buy the big, tea bags, it's going to make your life easier. Otherwise, you have to use a gazillion of them. So, I'm going to use two tea bags per gallon. So, I will be using four tea bags for this batch and sugar. So, a lot of people, you know, have their own way of doing their sweet tea. I use one cup of sugar per gallon. So, I keep this one third cup scoop thing in my tea at all times and I just know three scoops of this per quart of this per gallon two bags is gonna is gonna make my gallon so I'll show you how I put it all together after I get the water boiling and let the tea steep okay I changed my mind I'm actually gonna do six tea bags in that pot of water and go ahead and make three gallons worth yeah it'll work and then it's just this easy. While your, your tea is steeping or your water is boiling, you can go ahead and do this and have it ready. So three, three in each one. That's what I do. Of course, if you want your tea very, very sweet like syrup, uh, you're gonna probably use more than a cup. I think a cup it's just right though. Maybe I will not knock something over. <clears throat> Get in there, buddy. We're having we're having some uh what's the word? We're having some crowding issues up on this very crowded counter. Counter space. If you have it, do not take it for granted. I wish I had it. Okay. So they're ready to go. They're just gonna sit and wait. To be married with their tea. All right, I'll be back later. A watch pot never boils, but one with a lid on boils faster. I think. Okay, we have we have lift off and boiling water. So now what I do? Yep, I put them in there. I put them in there with the tag on. Some of y'all are not gonna like that. It hasn't killed us yet. All right. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the water off. I'm gonna put the lid back on and let them sit. I think there's also a lot of discrepancy about how long tea should steep or sit. I let mine sit for several hours usually. If I have the time, I'll let it sit that long. I mean, at least 30 minutes to an hour. It's nothing for me to let it sit many, many hours, like all day, all afternoon, until I think about it again. But since we're out of tea, 
I'm probably not gonna let this sit as long. It's 11. Hubs will probably be ready for lunch in an hour or so, so these might just sit for an hour, but anywho, I don't think it's a huge, huge deal. Let it steep and then we'll, we'll mix and we'll be done. So now what we do, we have, have our starter ready. And all I'm gonna do is divide that up three ways between these three containers. Got enough tea in there to do three gallons. So I'm gonna do that. I don't know that I'm gonna do it while I'm holding the phone because that could be bad. I'll go, I'll go. I got it, I got it. And I'm just eye I'm just eyeballing this. Uh, I think I'll be able to add some more to each one. Yeah. See how that works? Alright. Just do that. I will put some more water in here. Finish filling up the containers and shake and stir. Now for the fun part. Shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your tea starter. <laughs> And that's it. I'll just put those in the fridge and they'll be ready to go. So when you take your starter out, you just put it in your container, pour it in and finish filling the container up with water and you've got tea. All right, get your sweet tea on.